What's going on, brothers and sisters? Uh, first, can you hear me back there? Okay, first I'd like to say it's been an honor to be with all you brothers and sisters on this journey. The energy and the spirit that I feel from each and every one of you is amazing. And I just want to point this one thing out as I speak to different peoples. I know that we have different beliefs or we come from different understandings, but I just want to say this here. In spite of all of that, I use this trip as an example. We come from all different cities, places, but we come all together for one common cause, and that's to be here in the motherland. And it's the same way, no matter what your belief is, don't let that continue to separate us. Because that's what's been going on from time after time after time. We all have one common enemy and we know who that enemy is. So when we come together, particularly spiritually, because that's the type of people that we are, we're spiritual people. And being spiritual, you have certain type of powers that you have. And that's one of the things that the enemy don't want you to find out is the type of spiritual power that you have because they can't stop it. When you think about the weather, you have the, you have the hurricanes, you have the different types of floods, all that, there's nothing they can do with that. Those are the kind of things that we can call up on this system. But as long as they continue to have us argue and debate about one another's belief and this and that, we'll never come together. My wife, she uh, transitioned in 2014 on the spirit, to the spiritual realm. And one of the things that we was working on prior to her passing, we have two day daycare centers, child development centers there in Dallas or Lancaster, Texas. And one of the things that we wanted to do was first, we had to go back through our culture there in America before you can come over here to Africa. Because we have a culture there in America through slavery, Jim Crow. But there is a certain type of culture that we possess and that we came together in order to, to deal with all those things. By right, we wouldn't even be here if you look at all the atrocities and things that we had to go through. So you gotta go through, you gotta go through that and then come over here to Africa. You can't just jump from, from America over here. You got to go through that culture. My wife and I, we had about five 10 by 10 storage houses that we turned into rooms. Each storage house consisted of a period of history. The first storage house was, I named it the House of Mandela, which now since I am here in Africa, I am going back and change that name to the House of Kwame Nkrumah. Or oh, oh, Winnie Mandela. Yes. And then the next uh, house we have, we named it the House of Harriet Tubman, and that's where the children are learning about slavery. And then the next house we have is the House of Martin Luther King, where you learn all about your civil rights. And even though I know how we feel about President Obama, but our other people, they know him as the first black president, so we'll just say that, but then it's something that we can give recognition to to our children so that they can see the accomplishments that we can make. And then the final house that we have, we called it the house of Yahweh at the time, and it's because that's where you learn your spiritual growth at, and that's what that's all about. And so, um, if she was here, she would tell me, my two minutes is up, but I just want to say that it is a pleasure being here in Africa, mainly with you all, because when you have that kind of spiritual energy that's flowing like it is, it's a beautiful thing. You just don't know. And just think, if we came together, just like they have a day of prayer, if we came together and had a day of spiritual prayer, and I'm not saying prayer, but spiritualness, because I believe prayer is like you kind of begging for things. But we call things in existence. That's the kind of people we are. We don't ask for things. We call things into existence. That's the power that we have. So I just want to say that it's an honor again to be here in the motherland. I never thought I would be here. My only regret is that my wife didn't make it with me. However, I did write a book about our relationship, a little bit about my life and everything. And so, you know, I take this opportunity to promote it as well. So the, the name of it is Mac and Gloria an African-American love affair. My, my publisher told me when I told him I was coming to Ghana, he's from Kenya. And he said, oh, brother, oh, brother, you're going home. You're going home to the motherland. You should write another book. And I thought about it. I said, well, this next book is going to be called Mac and Ghana, an African-American love affair. I say. I say, I say, brother.